Welcome to Phuket folks, the pearl of the Andaman, where the beaches are pristine, the people are warm, and the food, well, the food is an adventure. We're going deep today, exploring the wild side of Phuket's street food scene. I'm talking about insects, my friends, those crunchy crawly critters that make up a huge part of the local diet here. Get ready to challenge those taste buds and maybe even your preconceptions because we're about to unlock a whole new world of flavor. First up, we're starting with a gateway bug, something nice and approachable, grasshoppers. These little critters are not just fascinating to watch, but also surprisingly tasty. Here in Phuket, they call them takatan, and they're as ubiquitous as potato chips back home. You can find them at almost every street corner, adding a unique twist to the local cuisine. You'll find them piled high in baskets at street stalls all over the island, deep fried to a beautiful golden brown. The sight alone is enough to make your mouth water. The key here is the crunch, that satisfying snap as you bite into them. It's a texture that's both unexpected and delightful, making each bite an adventure. They've got this earthy, nutty flavor, a little salty, maybe a hint of bitterness, kind of like a more intense version of those roasted crickets you can find in some bars these days. The flavor profile is complex yet comforting, trust me. If you're hesitant to dive into the world of edible insects, grasshoppers are a great place to start. They're not just a novelty, they're a delicious and sustainable snack. So next time you see them, give it a try. You might just find a new favorite treat. Okay folks, now we're moving into slightly more adventurous territory, red ants. Don't let their size fool you, these tiny critters pack a punch. They're called ma dang in Thai, and they're often stir-fried with soy sauce and chilies, which gives them this incredible, savory, and slightly spicy flavor. Now the texture, that's where it gets interesting. They've got this soft, almost chewy texture, and because they're so small, you really get that burst of flavor with every bite. It's a little like eating crunchy caviar, if you can imagine that. Don't be afraid to grab a spoon and dig in. Sticking with the ant theme, we're now going to try red ant eggs, or kai ma dang. These are considered a real delicacy here in Phuket, and once you try them, you'll understand why. They're often sprinkled on top of salads or used as a garnish for other dishes, adding a unique tangy flavor and a satisfying crunch. Imagine, if you will, a cross between a tart cranberry and a poppy seed. That's kind of the flavor profile we're talking about here. And don't be put off by their appearance. They look a bit like tiny white beans, and their texture is surprisingly pleasant, delicate, and slightly creamy. Trust me, these little eggs are a true culinary adventure. Harvested from the nests of red ants, these eggs are carefully collected by skilled foragers. They are then meticulously cleaned and prepared to ensure the highest quality. Chefs in Phuket have mastered the art of incorporating these eggs into various dishes, creating a fusion of traditional and modern flavors that tantalize the taste buds. So, the next time you're in Phuket, don't miss the chance to try this exotic delicacy. You might just find yourself craving the unique taste of Kaima Dang Long um, after your trip is over. All right, folks, let's talk silkworms. These little guys, known as non mhai in Thai, are a staple in many Southeast Asian countries, and for good reason. They're packed with protein and have this incredible, almost citrusy flavor that's really unique. Now the texture, that's where it gets interesting. They're quite soft, almost gooey, with this creamy filling that bursts in your mouth. Think of it like a savory gummy bear with a hint of lemon. They're often fried with kaffir lime leaves, which adds a wonderful fragrant aroma and enhances their natural flavors. If you're feeling adventurous, silkworms are a must try. Next up, we're moving on to crickets, or jingreed as they're known locally. Now, I know what you're thinking. Crickets, really? But trust me on this one. Crickets have become increasingly popular in recent years, even making their way into protein bars and snacks back home. But here in Phuket, they're treated with a reverence reserved for true culinary treasures. They're often roasted or fried until crispy, and their flavor is surprisingly complex, nutty, earthy, with a hint of that umami savoriness that gets food lovers so excited. 
Don't be afraid to pop a few in your mouth and savor the unique taste and texture. If you're feeling a little intimidated by the size of those regular crickets, don't worry, we've got you covered. Mini crickets, or Jing Reed Kai, are the perfect gateway to the wonderful world of cricket consumption. These bite-sized morsels are just as flavorful as their larger counterparts, but a little less daunting for the uninitiated. They're often fried with kaffir lime leaves, which imparts a wonderful citrusy aroma and a hint of herbal complexity. The texture is light and crispy, making them an addictive snack that you won't be able to resist. Chapter seven, bamboo worms, cheesy goodness from the forest. Now we're getting to the good stuff, bamboo worms. These little critters might not look like much at first glance, but they pack a punch when it comes to flavor and texture. These plump, juicy grubs known as rod duan in Thai are a true delicacy in Phuket and many other parts of Southeast Asia. They are often sought after by locals and tourists alike for their unique taste and nutritional benefits. They get their name from their natural habitat. They're found munching away inside bamboo shoots. This environment provides them with a distinct flavor profile that is hard to replicate. But don't let their humble origins fool you. These worms are bursting with flavor. They are a testament to how nature can surprise us with its hidden treasures. They're often fried to a crispy golden brown, and their taste is often compared to bacon or roasted sunflower seeds. Savory, salty, and incredibly Moorish. The frying process enhances their natural flavors, making them a perfect snack for any time of the day. The texture is firm on the outside and delightfully chewy on the inside. This combination makes every bite an adventure with a satisfying crunch followed by a tender, flavorful center. If you're looking for a truly authentic Phuket street food experience, bamboo worms are a must try. They offer a unique culinary experience that you won't find anywhere else, making them a memorable part of your gastronomic journey. Chapter eight, scorpions, facing your fears one bite at a time. All right, folks, it's time to face our fears, scorpions. Yes, you heard that right, scorpions. While not as common as some of the other insects on our list, scorpions are considered a delicacy in some parts of Phuket and other Southeast Asian countries. They're often skewered and deep fried until crispy, and their flavor is surprisingly mild, slightly nutty, with a hint of bitterness. The texture is what really sets them apart. Crunchy on the outside with a slightly chewy interior. It's definitely an experience and one that you won't soon forget. Now we're getting into truly adventurous territory, Sago grubs, or Tua Duong. These plump white grubs are the larvae of the red palm weevil, and are considered a delicacy in many parts of Southeast Asia. They're often eaten raw, but can also be roasted or fried. Now, I'm not gonna lie, sago grubs are not for the faint of heart. They have a very distinct pungent aroma that some might describe as cheesy, while others might say feet. Their flavor is equally polarizing, creamy, nutty, with a slightly bitter aftertaste. But hey, that's the beauty of food, right? It's all about trying new things and expanding our palates. We've saved the biggest for last, giant water bugs. These behemoths of the insect world, known as mangdana in Thai, are not for the faint of heart. They can grow up to four inches long and are a formidable sight to behold. But don't let their intimidating appearance scare you off. Giant water bugs are considered a delicacy in many parts of Southeast Asia and are prized for their delicate shrimp-like flavor. They're often steamed or fried and are typically eaten whole, crunchy exoskeleton and all. It's definitely an experience and one that will earn you bragging rights among your fellow foodie adventurers. So there you have it folks, a crash course in the wonderful world of edible insects in Phuket. If you're feeling inspired to embark on your own culinary adventure, there's no shortage of places to find these crunchy critters. Head down to any of the local night markets or street food stalls and you'll be greeted with a smorgasbord of edible delights. Don't be afraid to ask questions, try new things, and most importantly, have fun. Eating insects is not just about the taste, it's about experiencing a different culture and challenging your preconceptions about food. Who knows, you might even discover your new favorite snack. 
So, are you ready to take the plunge? From crispy grasshoppers to savory bamboo worms, Phuket's insect offerings are an adventure for your taste buds. Remember, food is more than sustenance. It's a window into a culture's soul. So open your mind, take a bite, and embrace the delicious possibilities that await. Until next time, happy eating.